Hello students, in this video let us discuss uh, reactions of the diazomethane. Okay. So diazomethane means uh, CH2 and 2. Okay. So actually here this diazomethane CH2 double bond N double bond N this plus charge and this minus charge and uh, one more resonative structure of this diazomethane here plus charge and there is a nitro charge. Okay. Of course, between these two resonating structures here, this resonating structure is more stable because more electronegative atom nitrogen carries a positive charge, sorry, a negative charge, a less electronegative atom carbon carries a negative charge. Okay. So here, this one is a, uh, this one is unstable resonating structure, this is a more stable resonating structure. Okay. But here in this case, the reactions of the diazone methane, okay, we explain on the basis of the, uh, this resonating structure. Okay. So, here in this case, so actually here the CH2 minus means here, this one has a basic nature. Okay, this one has a, a basic nature. There is a negatively charged part of the carbon, so that accept the proton. So this diazomethane uh, mostly involved in a um, acidic uh, acid base type reactions. That means that accept the proton in a some type of reactions and uh, this one has a uh, nucleophilic nature also. Okay, this one also has nucleophilic nature. So here, this diazomethane, this diazomethane in a chemical reactions can acting as a proton acceptor or can acting as a uh, nucleophile. Okay, that attacks on the electrophilic site of the carbon. So let us discuss some reactions. So here, just uh, as a base, diazomethane reactions as a base. For suppose phenol. Okay, here phenol, this one on reaction with the diazomethane CH2, here N2 plus and there is a negative charge. So here in this case, this negatively charged carbon accept the proton. So as a result of this reaction, we will get the phenoxide ion and here the CH2 converted to CH3 and this is a N2 plus. Now you know that N2 plus is acting as an excellent living group. Because, so generally good leaving groups must be stable after leaving out. So in this case, uh, N2 plus leaving, here it becomes a CH3 plus and this is the alcophilic one. So it is attacked by the phenoxide nucleophile. So as a result, we will get the, that uh, methoxybenzene, it is also known as an anisole plus N2. So phenol on reaction with the diazomethane will get the anisole. Okay, it is a diazomethane actually. For suppose I am taking diazoethane CH3 CH2 N2 plus here minus charge. Okay, this is a diazoethane. This is a diazoethane. So in this case again acid base reaction takes place first of all. So that phenol is converted to phenoxide ion plus this one CH3 here CH2 that N2 plus the CH minus X of the proton that is converted to CH3 CH2 N2 plus. Now here there is a leaving group and there is a nucleophile attacks on the positive charged carbon. So here in this case again we will get the uh, either that is a ethoxy benzene CH2 CH3 plus N2. This is nothing but phenotol. Ethoxy benzene is also called as a phenotol. Okay. So now here this is a reaction with phenol and now here we can write the reaction with the carboxylic acid. That means here this diazomethane can react with the carboxylic acid also. Okay. That is the diazomethane. So again here there is the acidic proton. This carboxylic acid is far more acidic than the carboxylic uh, the, than the phenols. So here again acid base reaction takes place. So here CH3C double bond O minus and this is converted to CH3 N2 plus again nucleophile substitution. So here in this case the, the product is CH3 C double bond O O C A C. Okay. So here that phenols converted to ethers and this carboxylic acid is converted to ester with a uh, diazomethane. Okay. So here in this case uh, for suppose this one on reaction with the HCl CH2 N2 CH2 minus here N2 plus. Okay. Again in this case there is the acid base reaction. So it is converted to uh, Cl minus and uh, CH3 N. Here proton is transferred to this one. Okay. 
okay photon is transferred to that next here in this case the cr minus acting as nucleophile attacks on the carbon methyl so here again we will get the uh, that ch3 cl plus n2 okay so first of all that is involved in a acid uh, base type of reactions and next uh, that uh, nucle that's diazomethane also acting as a nucleophile So next, uh, the reactions of the diazomethane with the carbonyl compounds. Okay, so here this is also involved in a uh, nucleophilic addition type of reactions. Generally, carbonyl compounds are involved in nucleophilic addition reactions. So here, this diazomethane acting as a nucleophile because here there is a negatively charged carbon here N2 plus in this case. So here, this CH2 minus attacks on this positively charged carbon. Okay, it is a polar group. There is a negative charge on the oxygen, there is a positive charge on the carbon. So here CH3, in this case O minus hydrogen and this is CH2 and N triple bond N plus charge. Okay. So here in this case actually, so there are two types of reactions to express in this case. Okay. So here for our convenience, I am writing this one like, uh, so hydrogen, this is uh, CH2 and uh, N2 plus okay so here by leaving out this cn2 plus this one becomes a positively charged carbon because n2 is acting as an excellent team group because after leaving out that is a more stable molecule so here this becomes a positively charged carbon so here this h minus migration takes place okay that h minus can be migrated or this o minus can be bond with this carbon okay if h minus is migrated so this one CH3C here O minus here plus charge and this one becomes CH3 and this N2. Okay. Now here O minus and O plus there is a double bond formation. That's it. Okay. So that means here lower carbonyl compound to higher carbonyl compound we can get by using diazo and methane. And now here one more reaction also possible that is this positively charged carbon, that alkophilic carbon, by leaving out this N2 plus, also attacked by the O minus. So as a result, we will get the CH3C oxygen here, this one CH2, here hydrogen, this one. Okay. That means here, that cyclic either, that means uh, that, that with uh, containing three carbons, uh, the three atoms, we, will, we can get in this case. Okay. So here cyclic either, but in this case, this is a minor product. Because three member ring is unstable, so here minor product. So in this reaction, that cyclic either uh, is a side product. So here this is a major product in this reaction. Okay. So acetaldehyde to acetone by heating with the diazomethane. Now here this one acetone on reaction with the diazomethane can be converted to CH2 and CH3. That is converted to butanol and now or one more reaction oxygen and CH2 okay but this is always a major product okay lower carbon compound to higher carbon compound now in this case here five member ring converted to six member ring okay and also one side product that is a cyclic either also formed but this cyclic alkanone is a major product okay now in this case also here that is explainable. So let us discuss in this case actually here. Uh, first of all, the CH2 minus nucleophile attacks on this one. So here the product is this one. O minus and uh, CH2 and this one N2 plus here O minus. Okay. So here in this case, by leaving out the N2, this one carbon becomes the electron deficient. So here the CC bond migration takes place. The CC bond migration takes place and this carbon carries a positive charge, that positive charge and O, o negative. So there is a pi bond formation. Now here it is converted to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 member ring. Because here by the carbon-carbon bond migration here there is a new carbon-carbon bond formation takes place. So here in this case uh, that is converted to actually the 7 member ring. Here 7 member ring is a major product. Interestingly this one is formed in 78 percentage yield and uh, one more side product that is cyclic either this one okay that means here by leaving out this n2 here o minus can form bond with the 
this positively charged carbon will get the cyclic paper but this is a major product cyclo heptanone is a major product okay then the three member ring here seven member ring is a highly stable so that's why here ring expansion takes place by leaving out the n2 ring expansion okay so that's why here seven uh, that cyclo heptanone formed in a 78 percent is yield okay that's it okay next in this uh, uh, reactions of the diazomethane uh, the uh, reaction of diazomethane with the uh, alkenes actually okay so but in this case the photolysis of the diazomethane must be needed okay so by the photolysis of, of diazomethane here ch2 minus actually here this one ch2 minus that means with two electrons here this one uh, n triple bond n here plus charge here leaving of the n2 here leaving of the n2 so here as a result we will get the uh, methylene carbene okay this one is the methylene carbene okay now here around, around this carbon there are the six electrons okay there are the two bonding electrons here two bonding electrons here two non-bonding electrons six electrons so it is electron deficient actually okay it is acting as an electrophile okay by breaking of this one so here these two bonding electrons are going with nitrogen this carbon carries a positive charge here positive negative neutral with the remaining two non-bonding electrons. So that is a methylene carbene. That is the alkrophile. The alkrophile attacks on the alkene. So here in this case, uh, CH2 double bond CH bond CH3. When these pi electrons are transferred to this one, this one carries a negative charge, this one carries a positive charge. Okay. So this negatively part attacks on carbon of the methylene carbene. So here, this one is becomes uh, CH2 and here CH2 minus and CH plus and CH3. Now here there is a bond formation. So CH2, CH and CH2, CH. Here CH3, the cyclopropanation. Okay. So alkenes on heating with the diazomethane or alkenes on photolysis of diazomethane will get the three member ring. Cyclopropanation takes place. Okay. Because there is the alkylophile. So alkenes are involved in an alkylophilic addition type of reaction. So here that uh, carbene, dichlo, uh, methylene carbene is added to the alkene, you will get the uh, cyclic uh, uh, alkene, okay. So here in, the, here in this case also same that alkene is converted to cyclopropanone, okay. There is a fused bicyclic compound. If for suppose there are two double bonds like this, here excess of the diazomethane taken on photolysis, you will get the methylene carbene. So here two times addition takes place, okay. So methylene carbon is a highly reactive, that's why here we can get this product. Okay. Now here, this methylene carbon can be inserted between the carbon-carbon or carbon hydrogen. Okay. So here in this case, for suppose this one CH2, N2 and H2, the photolysis of diazomethane produce a carbene. Okay, that produce a carbene. So now this carbene can be inserted between the carbon carbon or carbon hydrogen. Okay. This CH2 can be inserted between these two carbons as a result. CH3, CH2 and CH2, CH3, N-butane is formed. Okay. N-butane is maybe formed. Or here this carbene can be inserted between the carbon and hydrogen. So as a result, CH3, CH and CH3 and this one becomes a CH3. Isobutane is also one of the product. Okay, isobutane is also one of the product. So that methylene carbene can be inserted between carbon-carbon or carbon hydrogen. Now here it is a CH3 or CH2H we can write like this. So this methylene carbene can be inserted between these two atoms carbon and hydrogen. If this methylene is inserted between carbon and hydrogen, so here CH3, CH2, CH and it becomes a CH3. Okay. So again here N-butane is the product. So by the insertion of the carbon between these two carbons or between these two um, carbon and hydrogen, we will get the N-butane. But here the insertion of the carbon between carbon and hydrogen. Okay. This is the second carbon and uh, hydrogen which is present on the second carbon. Insertion of the, this methylene carbene will get the isobutane. Okay. So in this case here, that isobutane is a major product. Isobutane is a major product. 
So because in this case, by the insertion of this carbon here, we'll get the that uh, secondary radical here. Secondary radical is more stable. Okay. So that secondary hydrogen is a more reactive in this insertion. Okay. And additionally, isobutene is thermally more stable than the n-butene. So with increase in branching, uh, stability of the alkenes increases. Okay. That's it. So the, those are the reactions of the diazomethane. Thank you. Thank you for watching.